I'm Dr. Joanne Allen, and I'm a professor of art history at American University. We're just going to do either geometry or flowers and leaves. It goes back to the beginnings of the religion of Islam, which goes back to around the 600s. And um, the religion that they decided not to portray God or any of the other prophets um, because they had certain religious beliefs about them. So instead, they wanted to, in their artwork, have some type of decoration. And so they had three main forms of decoration. One is calligraphy, one is geometric patterns, and the other is anything kind of floral and um, uh, like vegetal, uh, organic inspired. Because we're doing Islamic art, so art of the religion of Islam, there can be no people. Yeah, so the inspiration uh, for these particular shapes, you know, everything in these geometric patterns originates with a circle. So you draw the circle and then you draw more circles and you get the six-pointed star and the hexagon. And in fact, the six-pointed star and the hexagon, they each have these uh, six sides to them or six points. And the religious belief behind that is that you have one thing in the center, the origin point, and then six around, and that adds up to seven and that's considered to be a perfect number um, because there are seven days of creation, for example. And we've also got this idea of um, everything originating from one point with a circle, and that can remind you about creation, how everything originates from God.